Welcome back to K&J Stitches. This is floss tube number six, and we have quite a few things to show you this uh, bi-weekly. Yep. Um, so I think we each have two finishes, and um, I've got a few whips to show you, and so does Jenny. So yeah, let's get started. I uh, we almost didn't make the video because it was snowing here and I'm from Texas and I risked life and limb to drive over here to Jenny's house three miles and but I made it so we're here and um, yeah so we're ready to go. Jenny you want to show some of your I don't know what do you want to do first whips or finishes? Um, I'm done. Let's do finishes. Yes. I need to get like a I was looking online today for like a finished gong you know kind of like how oh yeah <laughs> Pam, and Steph. Pam and Steph do the bell. I've seen some gongs that are pretty cute. I thought that'd be fun. <laughs> anyway, we'll see what happens. So my first finish, unfortunately, it wasn't until the day after Halloween, but it's a finish. So here it is. Um, try to get the glare out of there. So the crown and the scepter and the crowns here. Uh, I replaced all these with petite tre treasure braid. So they are sparkly, and the star here, and this little buckles there. I did replace, these were all 3371, and I replaced this with just 310. Same with this, um, and his shoes. Any, pretty much everywhere but the middle portion I replaced with 310. Um, there it is. So that was the day after Halloween, but it's done. And it's... I don't know, it's not really Halloween to me, so I'll just probably keep that one up all year round anyway. No, that one's cool. Yeah, you could totally keep that up. Yeah. Um, also, I finished my son's mail help kit. Bought this frame at a stitching shop in Denver. And it fits perfect in there. Well, it's a mail hill kit frame, so. No, the stars match up perfectly too. That's awesome. Yeah, so um, he'll be getting that for Christmas. Um, and that's all I have for finishes. That's good. Two finishes in two weeks. Not too shabby. Yeah, it was like one. For, well, Halloween was what on a Wednesday. Mm, Tuesday or Wednesday, I can't remember. So, yeah, it was almost a week apart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay. Um, I have two as well, and I also did not finish my Halloween in the rain before Halloween, but um, I did finish it. I can't remember exactly when. If you want to go look at my Instagram for the exact day or date that I finished it, it's uh, it's up on there because I posted it immediately after I got done. So, um, and my Insta is um, Starlet ATX. So, um, but here it is, and I I did do some modifications. Um, I took off the like the words at the bottom that said Halloween in the rain, and there was a couple more pumpkins and stuff. Um, I did get some um, specialty threads for some of the oranges and the blacks like in all the oranges are um i think it was burnt orange and then in the cloud and some of the other stuff it was um carriage black i believe and those are both classic color works i think anyway but um i kind of ran out of the black so i did a lot of um replacement with um you know 310 like in her dress and the border and stuff like that but i think it turned out really cute um, the owl and the pumpkin over there on the bottom corner are half a stitch too high or low, I can't remember, but I don't care enough to fix it. <laughs> it looks fine, you can't tell. Uh, as long as the border is good, I'm happy. I, I did have to modify the border a little bit, so, you know, it works for me. I'm happy with it. And I ordered a frame for it today off of Amazon, so hopefully that'll be coming next week, and then maybe I'll show you the FFO when I... Um, get done next video. It's such a cute pattern. It is really cute. Like it. Yeah, I'm actually I'm thinking about um, doing a giveaway on my Instagram uh, for that just because I hate just throwing them in the trash and I mean I didn't mark on it or anything so it'll be it's just a little wrinkly. <laughs> well and I was but, gonna yeah. do the same with the Halloween family but yeah. going on vacation. Yeah. Um, I have been meaning to do because I hit a thousand subscribers on Instagram so I was gonna do a giveaway on that mm -hmm. but being that I leave in like two days, yeah. um, I wanted to make a project bag also, and I That's just cool. haven't had yeah. time to do it, so um, I'll be doing a giveaway on mine as well nice. for a thousand give a thousand subscribers, and then for the pattern. So, 
stay tuned for that. And then um, my other finish, this was my oldest uh, whip. I started it in, I think, August of 2015. So it's been a long time coming. It's my first Chatelaine. It's called um, Starry Nights in the South Seas. And I literally have never seen this ever stitched up and complete. I've seen it partially completed, but I've never seen anyone actually finish it. So enjoy. Um, as you guys know, I do not like borders. And this had just kind of like a, it was a bunch of um, specialty stitch border, but it was all the same all the way around. And I was like, meh, I'm just gonna, you know, frame it with a mat or something. This one I am gonna have professionally framed just because it has a lot of crystals and stuff in it. And it's got, I went ahead and did some um, pearl, or like, you know, real quote unquote pearls down in the bottom there. So I'm not really good enough to like frame that myself. But it is fun, lots of sparkles, lots of treasure braid. Um, the moon and a lot of the stuff in there with the water is uh, glow in the dark. And yeah, I mean, it's just cool to see it stitched up because, you know, all of her patterns are sort of, um, she does them all on computer. So, you know, I mean, you see what it looks like, you know, on, on her computer generated, but it's so much different. Like if you, if you go online and look at this on the Shadowline, Shadowline website, it looks different. I mean, you know, it looks different than this, but I'm really happy with it. So, yeah. And that's on, um, a 28 count, uh, Sunny Dyes Purple Majesty Linen. And uh, normally the Purple Majesty comes with like sparkles on it. And I, I emailed her and asked her if she could do it without the, like the glitter and stuff. And so she did. And I think it kind of looks like clouds. I was pretty happy with it. Yeah. Those are my finishes. All right, so let's move on to whips. All right. Well, cause I had two finishes. I um, went ahead and started on this piece um, so this is a spirit healer from World of Warcraft and it's charted by I'll put it on the bottom because I don't know how to pronounce it um, I found this on her blog and let's see here's a previous picture of what it looked like and then I will pull up what it look like when it's done and that's what it'll look like when it's done that's what it's like for me no darn it technology <laughs> dang and i just pushed something okay so that's what it will look like when it's done and i know Kay from Kay's cross stitch will appreciate that because i know she plays well um so i just worked on that last night um, I also decided to go ahead and work on my mirror a little bit, and then it's a Gypsy Mermaid. And all I really did was start working on this. Um, I had to fix it a little bit. I'm off a stitch on her. But there's no way I'm ripping all this out. Well, that skin is one over one, so no um, <laughs> it's one stitch. I can modify the border just a little bit for yeah. that. So I still just leave that it. the way it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that fabric. It's really soft. Mm -hmm. I, I really like it, but I don't know. I gotta figure out how to move it to the other frame because it. I don't get. It. Tension. Of tension on it and yeah. so it's like super squishy and I don't really like it yeah. and last but not least um, here's my hate this is the last row so I got the first page on the last row done I have one two three and a half pages left to go so once I get back from Germany then I'll be working on this one trying to get this one done so I love that. Crank that one out to try to get it that page done. So, and so what exciting. are you working on? I am working on the. I'm working on. I've got three different things that I've been working on besides the two finishes. I worked on those quite a bit. So these are sort of what I worked on, you know, around those other two that I knew I wanted to get done. Um, 
so I'm working on the stiatch along and the the most recent part came out last night and I have not started on that or yeah last night um, but here it is through I believe this is through part four I was kind of going again for a breakfast at Tiffany's sort of theme uh, this is a little more green than I was hoping for but I still think it looks really cool the colors are pretty there we go but um, yeah I still have no clue what it's gonna be and people have made some funny jokes so far but I really don't know what it's going to be, so. but that's the whole fun of it. And that's just on a 18 count Ada that I had in my stash. So. And then I'll show you my Hello Fall that I started a while back. I think I started it for Mania, um, and I haven't really worked on it a whole lot, but I figured it's fall, and it's not going to be fall for much longer, hence the snow. Um, so I want to go ahead and finish it so it's not just like sitting there for another year. Um, so here it is. It's on Vintage Country Mocha from Winchell that I got at a stitching shop. Thank you. And I also got all the threads at a stitching shop, of course. Um, it's with all the Call For Classic Colorworks threads. And yeah. Um, this down here, it was it's called like Sheep Wool or something, the white. And I didn't like that it didn't pop out very much on the fabric, so I did do a little light outlining of it, backstitching on it. So that's that. It's about halfway done. I I got about halfway last night, and then I worked on this um, until about midnight last night. So, yeah. Apparently, uh, Married with Children is on Hulu now. Hmm. So I started all over watching that, <laughs> and it is still funny. So... And then uh, my last one is a new start. Don't don't say anything. <laughs> um, I figured I finished two, so I could start one. But it is um, one that the one that I picked up at the retreat in Herndon, Virginia. Um, Reflections of Norway by Ink Circles. Super super cool. I mean, you could look at that for quite a while and find lots of cool things happening in there. So that's that and. I have always wanted to um, buy and stitch on this fabric. It is um, 28 count opal linen, fiery skies by um, Under the Sea. And oh my gosh, which way is up? Okay, I think this way's up. I should have marked it, I'm pretty sure. So that's my start on it. I just started in the middle. And I think it looks fab. This is a, um, believe it or not, I think the thread is actually called Under the Sea. It's by Fiberlicious. It's a, a silk variegated thread. So, but I'm happy with it. I'll show you the other thread that I bought from there that um, I was thinking about using, but um, Jenny and I agreed that the other thread was... Oh, I've done them. Yeah, it's, it's quick. I mean, this is only a couple days work, a couple nights work. Um, so yeah, that's that. It's very sparkly. I love that. And uh, I'll show you the thread real quick. Sorry, it's ugly, but it's a really pretty, like variegated blue. And that's all I've got. Do you have any haul? Um, I do. So. For my trip to Germany, I figured I'd bring something small with me, and I saw Katie, I can't remember her floss tube name though, not the stash queen, but the other Katie, their friends, you know who I'm talking about. I don't know. <laughs> Off the... Do you want me to talk while you look? <laughs> well, it's... I can't oh, think okay. Of her, um, her last two name, though. Well, she's one of the founders of Stitch Mania, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. I, I don't remember her last two name either. Sorry. <laughs> it's like slipping my mind. Yeah. But anyway, so I saw her make this design uh, last year, and she finished it, and it was so pretty. And I mean, this is a it's a free design by Brooks Books. She just released it a few months ago for free. So I'm gonna work on this while I'm. On my trip, I figure in two weeks, maybe I'll get, I should be able to get it done. We'll see. 
Um, so I just went to a stitching shop and bought, I tried to convert as much as I could from the Krynik, so I bought these. Those are beautiful colors. Four colors, and I had some in my stash. The It's like a royal blue, gold, black. And then a couple of things of Krynik as well that were not able to be converted. So, But I figure it's on perforated paper. They're big holes. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have an issue getting yeah. them through. So um, I got those, and then I bought the perforated paper to go with it. For the leaves and then the main piece so i figure that should be just fine to take on the plane and whatever oh yeah it's a nine hour flight so lots of stitching time so we'll see i expect a lot to be done by the time you get <laughs> two nine hour well, flights gonna, yeah. <laughs> i gotta try to force myself to sleep because we do get there at eight in the morning yeah and it'll be about midnight here so and then yeah. we have a three hour I have a three hour drive ahead of us from there, so um, yeah, I gotta try to make myself sleep. And I don't really like flying, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, at least those uh, international planes are like a little bit bigger and more comfortable. I think, you know, from what I remember, last time I flew international was like 02. But I think those ones have like the two rows, so it's like two seats That's and then good. three in the middle, so yeah. it has two rows, I think. so. Yeah. It's through Delta, and I haven't been to Europe in 22 years, so yeah, it's been a little while since I've been there, but it's so fun. So exciting. But yeah, and then when we get back, I get back on the 27th, and then we'll do another video that Sunday. Yeah. So I will be sure to share, and then also I'll have pictures on Instagram mm -hmm. of stuff that we're doing, and I'd like to try to find a shop out there if I can. Yeah. But we'll see. That'd be cool. Yeah. We'll be in Berlin, so I, I imagine there's something in Berlin. Yeah. yeah that's awesome. Hopefully. So. But keep yeah, take, up today. take pictures of that yeah, if you can find one, because I'd like to see what it looks Someone just went to um, the Saju uh, shop, and they took a bunch of pictures of, of that. Um, it was on Instagram somewhere. I can't remember who it was. I'm sorry. Mm. But it was beautiful. You know, I, think it, I guess it was in Paris. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping to go to Amsterdam, and there's a yarn store that's there. It's Stephen and Penelope. Hmm. Um, Stephen West is actually a huge knitter, so and it's like their store, but we're just not going to have time to do it. So, yeah. But that's all right. I'm sure it's we'll make it there again someday. So That's awesome. We'll see. But. Cool. Um... So what are your plans? Do you have any plans? Well, I have a little bit of um, or haul. acquisitions. Yes, stash acquisitions. Very minimal, though. I think I did good. I'm proud of myself. Um, I just wanted to show you the other thread that I was thinking about for that ink circles. It's called um, Aquatic Maiden. But I think it just had too many too many colors in it. It was just a bit too much, but I'm gonna, I'll use it for something. It's beautiful. So, and then while I was at Fiberlicious, I did not have any chalkboard fabric and it never hurts to have some chalkboard fabric around just in case. It's kind of bluer than I thought it would be, but it's really pretty. I still think I could totally do a chalkboard piece on it. Yeah. Maybe a winter one. I have that winter one from one of the magazines, you know, that, um, that was done by Priscilla and what is it? Who's the designer? Oh, uh, is it hands on? Is it hands on? <laughs> anyway, I was thinking about doing that on here because that's really, really. So where are we cross stitch? We never time. <laughs> We're just not prepared today. The snow is messing me up. No. I just blame the snow for everything. All right, and then uh, the last thing I got was so I uh, for the exchange at the retreat there was a. Um, um, it was basically 10 different things and one of the things was something froggy and I saw this online and I'll show you her um, her card so you can check her out but this lady <clears throat> sells the most beautiful um, they're like little um, measuring tapes and she she covers them and there are all these different cute little 
like themes and stuff. And oh my gosh, they're adorable. And here, I'll take this out so you guys can see it. But this one I got because it had my name on it and it's pink and it had a tassel on it. Are you dead right now? Look how cute. I mean, honestly, look. And then she gave me one too. And it's got the little button on the back and you just whoop. Oh, this one has a little, oh my God. A little owl on yeah. it. Oh, yeah. I knew, I knew Jenny liked oh, it. The back side. But, yeah, these are really cute. Go check them out. She has so many different things, um, different like themes and whatnot. I mean, ever there were like five that I wanted that I said, okay, I just need one measuring tape. Um, I keep losing my measuring tapes. I don't know what's up with that. But every time I want one, I can't find one. So I said, well, this one I'm going to put right next to me in my little like sewing drawer that's like literally right next to where I stitch. So um, I won't lose it. And then I've, I've still got my other ones um, like in my finishing um, desk and stuff like that. But anyway, I picked up that. I thought it was cute. I think that's all, that's all my purchases. So I did good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all I bought too. Um, thanks. But yeah, plans, um, as far as my plans, I mean, I'm really just, um, I'm going to finish Hello Fall because I don't want it hanging around anymore. Um, even though I'm enjoying it. And then I really want to start getting back on Death by Cross Stitch because it's been sitting and I really like doing it. Every time I stitch on it, I, I'm like, why am I not working on this? It's really fun. And also, although I have measured that fabric like 20 times, I still am nervous about the width of it. And what I want to do is I've done like page one and I want to just like go all the way across the four pages because it's, six, it's 16 pages. So what I'm going to do is just like carry that all the way across. Um, and not even do like the full of each page. I just want to like literally do like the top oh, motif. Yeah, and just make sure that it's big enough. Because if it's not, then I want to know now before I like really finish more stuff. Um, I know it's long enough. But, um, you know, I'm doing it on 32 counts. So that's, and it's over two. So it's going to be huge. I mean, it's going to have to be like a wall hanging or something. There's no way I'm going to get it. That's a big that. piece anyway. I know. Yeah. But at the time when I started it, I was like, oh, I can't do... I can't do smaller than 32, I'm scared. And like, here I am now doing like 40 count all day long. I can totally do it, it's fine. Um, and I kind of, you know, wish I had known back then what I know now, but that's okay because it's still gonna be really nice. Yeah, it'll be cool. But I wanna work on that. And then I do need to start some Christmas stitching. Um, I have those dimensions ornaments, that kit. Um, I've finished one and like a half of them. So I'd like to at least finish one more of those and actually like those two that I finished actually FFO them. So that's kind of my goal. And then I would like to work on Miss Christmas Eve by Mirabilia. Because mm -hmm. she's... Um, what did you... You started that one, right? Yeah. Okay. I've done like the bodice and um, some of the dress. But I really want to like knock out some more of the dress. Just because, you know, the, the Mirabilia dresses, they're huge. And I don't know. I was looking through... And, you know, I might do this next time we meet up. But like I have like eight Mirabilia's with like the fabric all kitted up. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I was looking at them today. I'm going, I've got to finish Miss Christmas Eve so I can start some of these other ones. Um, but maybe I'll bring those in just so people can see like the fun fabrics that I chose. Cause I was going through this like crazy, you know, Mirabilia's you can do crazy color fabrics and stuff. So maybe I'll bring those over next time. And show them. Yeah. Pretty fun. Yeah. But anyway, that's about it. So you'll see us on Insta and Jenny, have a safe and fun trip. Thanks. Yeah. Anything else you can think of? Nope. I think we'll we'll be back in two weeks and hopefully maybe I'll have the ornament finished. I don't know. It depends on I try to do a little bit every day anyway, just it's hard for on my home. sanity. Yeah. So just to kind of chill before I go to sleep. But yeah. we'll see. It's an eight hour time difference, so um, hopefully we can get acclimated to that and then we'll see. But yeah. check Instagram because I'll definitely <laughs> keep stuff up to date there. And uh, we'll see you guys in two weeks. All right. Bye. Have a good one.